This is KVU News Nightbeat. Disturbing video showing animal cruelty. Tonight, officials are pressing charges. Council considers mobility bonds to help Austin Roads. And taking a hit, why TV shows are packing up and moving out of Austin. Good evening, everyone. I'm Terry Gruca. And I'm Tina Shively. Austin City Council still in session tonight. You're seeing a live look here in the monitor and on the agenda, improving transportation in the city. The Night Beats' Aaron Jones is live out at City Council tonight with our top story. And Aaron, a lot of people are anxious to see if this will get approved, right? Yeah, they really are. And the City Council just started talking about this bond proposal proposed by Mayor Steve Adler. It's a $720 million bond proposal. And like you said, it's really been a hot item on this agenda. A lot of people have expressed their support for the bond, which is part of the mayor's go big plan. Now, the majority of the money would be put towards improvements to major Austin corridors. We would see changes to Airport Boulevard, MLK Junior Boulevard, Burnett, and North and South Lamar. The bond would also improve urban trails and add more bus pullouts by Bike lanes and sidewalks across Austin. The words that we're looking at, the studies tell us that if we don't do this work, the delays, which everyone knows are pretty horrible as is, the delays will get worse by 70 to 300 percent. Ouch! If we do this work, then we're going to improve delays by anywhere from 25 to 50 percent. And other proposals are up for discussion, including plans that would only need 300 or 500 million to complete. But Mayor Adler says if we're going to do this, we need to go big. Otherwise, we won't see the transportation changes that the city needs. If Adler's proposal is approved, the tax increase would be less than $5 a month. We'll be out here tonight and we'll keep you updated on their decision on this on KVU.com. For now, reporting live, Aaron Jones, KVU News Nightbeat. With a very lean police force, it's going to help us leverage technology to keep us one of the safest in the country. Police Chief Art Acevedo there talking about city council approving body cameras for Austin police officers. The cost is $17.2 million over seven years. Police say that technology will help them solve crimes and find missing children. And I think that working Tonight, a video of animal cruelty at Lady Bird Lake has one man facing serious charges. Texas Parks and Wildlife officials say 57-year-old Terry Washington beat a turtle with a hammer Tuesday evening. The video has upset so many people, including the man who shot it. The Night Beats' Brandon Jones is live at Lady Bird Lake tonight. Brandon, you had a chance to talk with him this evening. Yeah, I did, Terry. Jeffrey Frank told me that he was just too overwhelmed to talk about the incident. He told me today that he was out here at the lake jogging, and this is something that he never expected to see. But he's glad that his video helped catch Washington. An unbelievable act of animal cruelty caught on camera. I've never heard of such ridiculousness. The video shot through Jeffrey Frank's Snapchat shows what he thought were two men fishing. But it isn't. Frank zoomed in and noticed it was a snapping turtle. You can see one of the men takes out a hammer. What happens next is blurred due to his graphic nature. Frank's video shows Washington smashing the turtle's shell and his head in front of a small group of people. The fact that that thing suffered while he beat it with a hammer is horrendous. I don't know what causes a person to do that. Frank says Washington then drags the turtle by his tail under the tunnel. Though it's faint, you can still see a trail of blood at the scene Thursday. Frank Frank's viral video was shared over a thousand times, helping police catch Washington through a tip. I think that maybe might be a positive of people having their phones on them, able to catch this kind of thing in action when it happens, especially if they're able to catch the guy and, and punish him for what he did. Washington is now charged with two Class C misdemeanors for hunting non-game wildlife without a license and illegal dumping of wildlife resources. Now, investigators tell me they still don't know why Washington did this. More charges could be on the way. Austin police have now joined in the investigation. We are live here at Lady Bird Lake. Brandon Jones, KVU News, Night Beat. Partly cloudy skies earlier this afternoon with highs in the mid-90s, now cooling into the 70s and 80s. Let's take you live outside as you look at East Austin, 6th and 7th Street tonight with temperatures right now in the metro 
in the low 80s. 80 at Buda, 83 at both Cedar Park, Leander, 82 Pflugerville. It's 83 right now in Round Rock. Had a spotty shower in portions of Bastrop and Caldwell County earlier today. We'll see the same for tomorrow. Slightly better opportunity for some showers for the weekend. Plus, we're watching the tropics. Could see another depression form over the next few days. We'll let you know where that one's headed coming up. All right, Albert, thank you so much. President Obama tonight reassuring millions of people they don't need to fear being immediately deported. This all comes after the Supreme Court's ruling today on immigration. The tie vote effectively killed the president's plan to shield millions more immigrants from deportation. President Obama says deporting long term immigrants who aren't criminals will stay a low priority. And the Supreme Court also upheld UT's race conscious admissions program today. The ruling comes seven years after a woman filed a lawsuit claiming she didn't get into the school because she was white. Four liberal justices found the admission policy, quote, lawful under the Equal Protection Clause. They also found Abigail Fisher did not prove she was denied equal treatment when her application was rejected. Her attorney disagrees. What is sad about it is that universities throughout the country continue to treat students differently based on their race and ethnicity. And Abby, her family, and the majority of Americans don't believe that's right. UT President Greg Fenves praised the decision on Twitter today, saying, quote, diversity is essential to carry out UT's public mission to provide the highest quality education for every student. The Supreme Court still has one Texas case left to rule on. That deals with the state's controversial abortion law that's imposed major restrictions on abortion clinics. The court is expected to address it on Monday. We'll have coverage of that decision right here on KPN. Musicians here in Austin remembering a Texas music business icon. Bill Ham died Saturday at his Austin home. Local musicians reflecting on Ham's influence as a music manager tonight. No, he was just a real down-to-earth guy that, that really expected a lot from his artists and, uh, and got it. Ham is credited with bringing ZZ Top and Clint Black to stardom. He was 79 years old. KVU Defender's investigation getting results. The push for change after we uncovered thousands of police officers with past charges. And the film industry taking a hit in Texas. Why companies are packing up for other states.